Hi folks, welcome back to The Shed. Today, we're gonna use the ArcDroid and PC software to create a cut file that you can put on a USB drive, plug into the machine, and cut as many of them as you want. All right, we're gonna do a quick little tutorial using Fusion 360. This assumes you have a passing knowledge on how this program works. Uh, it is available as a free download if you need it. Uh, we are in the Manufacturing tab. We are under Fabrication, and we will be using the Cutting a 2D Profile. Created a little setup. In this case, we've created a setup that is the same thickness and shape as the, the Happy Face itself, uh, which is roughly three millimeters thick. And now what we do is we want to choose the cutting. Then we will need to select a tool. In this case, I have a couple of tools set up. The one that I have here is labeled Tool. This is actually set up to be the same kerf width as my existing plasma cutter, the Everlast 52 that we use regularly. Uh, changing the speed here a little bit because it actually needs to go a little bit faster for, uh, for what we're doing here. So we're gonna go about 1200 millimeters per minute on both in both cutting and lead in. And then we choose the geometry. Choose the geometry tab. Choose the things that you want to cut. You always want to choose the geometry in the order you want them cut. So I'm going to cut the eyeballs first. I'm going to go with a cutting height of about two millimeters. And then I'm going to double check my lead and entry. In this case, I want compensation on the left. That's right. And I want a lead in of about three millimeters. So I'm gonna change that lead in to three millimeters and then okay. And it'll create the first tool path. So now we have tool path for the eyes. Do the same thing again for the mouth. And in this case, you'll see the arrow shows up on the wrong side, click the arrow and it'll move to the inside. So now it'll cut on the inside of that. Same thing, same tool, same 1200 millimeters per per minute, same two millimeters cut height, compensation to the left, that means to the inside, and lead in, we're gonna reduce that to about 2.5 millimeters in this case, because we have a very small cut. Push go, and uh, I've got the compensation on the wrong side, no problem, choose it, Choose the geometry tab, change that arrow again. There we go. So now we have on the inside, cutting around. We can actually change this entry point and I'm going to do that really quickly. Here, if you choose the last tab, linking, you can choose entry positions. And I'm gonna pick someone over here so that it has a better area of free cut leading in. So it now creates a new tool path, that's good. And then the last one, cutting. In this case, you check the geometry on the outside. It's gonna go around the outside. Again, same two millimeter height. Check your linking, check your, your compensation. Good, creates the file, perfect. You can now simulate this, just to make sure it's correct. Use the simulate tab up here under, and now it'll actually show you the cut that you just made. In this case, I've just got the circle selected. If I select all three, it'll show me from the beginning. Simulate. That looks good. Now we need to post it. Next to simulation is post process. You choose post process. Make sure that it's going to the directory you want. In this case, I'm going to put it on my USB drive directly. And here you want to choose ArcDroid Cutting under your posts. This is avail This file is available for download on our website. So this is the post processor you require. Double check that your pierce height uh, compensation is good and that it probes. If you want it to come down and check the, uh, the height of the material before it starts, you want the probe box checked. Simply post it. And bingo, it'll even bring up the G code. That's what it's doing right now in a, uh, so that you can actually inspect your G code in a text inspector afterwards. 
That's now on my USB drive and I can take that over to the arc droid and cut it. This is a pretty simple design, but the nice thing about Fusion 360 and uh, the Arc Droid is you can make much more complex designs. Hopefully, you're gonna get a lot of use out of your Arc Droid, and w whether it be with Simple Trace or using the PC, you'll be able to cut just about anything you want.